CLC is our reverse light installation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take off both reflectors. So you need this little ratchet and an eight millimeter socket. I'm a right. So we kind of scoured the internet and uh, these are the lights we came up with. We'll leave a link in the description. But uh, kind of the whole uh, idea with this thing is we don't want to punch extra holes in our machine and we don't want something real big and bulky to take away from the looks of it. So that's why we took out the uh, reflectors there. It's already got a hole in the middle of it, which we can feed these wires through. But uh, as you can see on the back of this, it's got like a little nub on the back of it. So we're gonna have to enlarge that hole just a little bit so this will fit flush against it. So we'll feed our wire through the existing hole that we just made bigger there. should have them mounted up just like that. As, like I said, we kind of scoured the internet there trying to take measurements and this isn't a perfect fit, but it's as close as we could find. So now we're gonna take some rubbing alcohol and we're gonna clean our mating surfaces like so. Now we're gonna secure it with this 3M tape, which is made for this type of application. All right, so once you got everything uh, cleaned up, we'll take our wires, we'll feed it through the hole we enlarged. Now here's a little uh, tip when you're using this type of tape. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that holds the badges on your cars. That if you ever bought a body kit for a car, this is the type of tape that's gonna come with it. So it's really strong. So you may only get one shot to stick this where you want it. So what I usually do is just start it, just a little strip on each side there, then kinda get it to where you can peel it back. So I'll put a little bit over the front, a little bit over the bottom like that. Make sure you got this thing where you want it. So then just take your little tails there and then pull it out. See if you do it that way, you know you're not just gonna stick it on there and it not be straight. There we go, that should never come off unless you really pry on it. So we have the passenger side hooked up to the driver's side with this junction here. And as you saw, we put an extra wire on here. 
So what I'm gonna do now is just put a ring terminal onto this end. And then we're gonna mount it to this little junction bolt here that I've been using. All right, so now we got our ground side all hooked up. So now we're working on the uh, positive side, power side. We went ahead and took our red wire and just like the ground side, exactly like the ground side, we ran another wire up through the bumper here. And we made another junction just like that. But this time, instead of going to that uh, post, we're gonna take this all the way up inside the cab to a rocker switch. All right, so we're up here in the cab. Francie's gonna feed our power wire through an existing hole in the firewall. We're gonna come out here and grab it. Now we're gonna run this down the firewall and underneath the side-by-side uh, -side, all the way to that last terminal that we, we made. Okay, so we've got our power wire running through that hole in the firewall. It came down here, ran it down the firewall. And I know I'm gonna have to, I got a lot of cable management to do here. We're just kind of plugging along. So then we brought it up under the chassis here through the frame. But as usual, we brought it up under the or on the back side of the battery over the top. And here's the end of it here. So we'll go ahead and tie that into our junction that we made earlier. Then all we should have to do is hook it up to the rocker switch inside the cab. Okay, so last connection we have to make is up here in the cab. Uh, you may just have like a little toggle switch and that's fine. We installed one of these uh, big rocker panel systems. Uh, if you want to see how we did that, uh, we'll leave a link in the description. But uh, for now, we'll go ahead and make this last connection here. And this goes to one of our rocker switches on that panel. So we'll, uh, we'll get our camera set up here. We'll flip the switch and see what happens. Actually, before we hit the switch, I probably should bring up these lights again. Uh, there's three wires on them. Uh, for what, like I said, for whatever reason, they call the white ground and the black isn't even used in this application. So we'll either tie it up or cut it off. All right, friends, you go ahead and hit flip that switch. Shut the lights off. Shut the garage lights off. So if you found this video to be helpful, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.